Uh, I don't know if you kept up to date with all this Brooke Khan stuff that's going on, splits and things and splits. Yeah, Khan thinking he should be getting 70-30. 50-50, man. It's Is that what simple, you think they should be? Simple. If they want the fight, it's fifty-fifty. Yeah. The but that seems to be the sticking point for why that fight isn't happening. What, because of percentage splits, and they obviously don't want to fight. Eddie Hearn says fifty-fifty. They'll make money, man. They'll yeah. make money. They'll make money. You like to see that fight, though? Yeah, hundred percent. It's good for boxing. As I said, Khan Brook gets mentioned. Then ten people mention that. Then two people mention AJ Klitschko. So these fights need to happen in boxing because it just it holds the the credibility of the sport. And the, the, uh, and and that's why I try and jump up fights when I can because um, I'm never guaranteed to win, but I'm guaranteed to get credit for taking fights. So, and I know it benefits the sport because remember, man, we're ambassadors of the sport. And with, without no like Ali, Joe Frazier and, and, and these type of fighters, there'll be no us. So we're just kind of, you know, leading on. So that's why I think Khan and Brooks should get the fight on because it'll be a fight that potentially may have never happened. Do you know what I mean? And one, uh, what would have happened, what would happen If it happened, it'll be mega. We'll be talking about it for, for years to come. And they're both from the uh, Cockney Asian community. So do you know what I mean? <laughs> Neither of them are. Neither of them come under that category. Neither of them do. Anyway. Um, Alright, just, just finally before, I know you've got other things no, no, to do today, no, no. but um, just talk to me about what you're doing now in between um, 29th of April. I learned from before, um, it's good because when you're winning, there's going to be opportunities. So, um, for experience and so on and so forth, we've all learned together is like how to manage these opportunities. So, right now, um, we're just over three months out. So, I started camp, but more so like maintenance, making sure there's no injuries. But um, what we do is we put the feelers out in advance. So, we try and book in a window. So, all these opportunities don't just come spontaneously, they, they're organized. So, we're just ticking off all these boxes, ticking off the introduction of training boxes. So, when I then float off into camp, everyone 